guys, this is Teacher SP TV and welcome back to my channel. So for today's lesson, I'm going to discuss about the vision of radicals. So from my previous lesson, I'm already done with uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication. And today, this is a continuation of our lesson, which is the division of radicals. So we will be using a process here. How are we going to use rationalizing the denominator? So if you are new on this channel, just subscribe, like, comment, and tap the notification bell so that you will be updated for whatever videos I'm going to upload. Are you ready? So if you are ready, please keep watching. radicals so division of radicals simplify for example number one simplify square root of 4x squared over z squared so from my previous lesson pinag-aralan po natin kung ano po yung index kung ano po yung radicand di po ba so ngayon ang gagawin po natin ay kukunin po natin ang square root po niya so like for example here we know that the square root the index is equal to 2 right so, if we're going to simplify that, we know that the square root of 4 is equal to 2, right? So, 2, and then this x squared is simplify mo, parang ang squared niya, and then since the index niya ay 2, magiging 2 over 2 siya. And then over z squared, tapos over the index which is 2. So if you are going to simplify that, 2 over 2 will give you 1. So magiging 2x over z. So therefore, ito na po guys ang ating square root. So we have already simplified it. The square root of 4x squared over z squared is equal to 2x over z. Okay, so I have here example number 2 which is Square root of 24x cubed, y to the 7th, over 3x 7th, y squared. So, when you are dividing a number, you are going to subtract the exponent. So, before simplify po natin, ang gagawin natin, i-divide po muna natin ang numerator at saka denominator. When you are subtracting the exponent, when you are dividing the exponent, you are subtracting. Okay? So, ganyan po yun. So, simplify po muna natin. So, hindi pa po natin patanggalin. 24 divided by 3 will give you 8. Okay? And then, x cubed over x to the 7th. Mas malaki ang exponent ng nasa baba. So, syempre, maiiwan doon sa baba. So, 7 minus 3 will give you 4. So, dito po yung x to the 4th. Okay? Ngayon, y to the 7th over y squared. So, 7 minus 2 will give you y to the 5th. So, therefore, pag ito na po, isisimplify na po natin. Ano po ang factor ng 8 na meron pong square root? So, we know that there are two factors of 8. Okay, so 4 times 2 is equal to 8. 8 times 1 is equal to 8. So, ano po yung factor ng 8 na may perfect? Di po ba 4 and 2? So, isusulat po natin dito, 4 and then times 2. But here, guys, y to the 5th. So, ngayon, pwede po natin siya masimplify. Di ba? So, alam po natin ang index natin ay 2. Pero, kailangan, ang gagawin natin, if a factor natin ang y to the 5th, hahatiin po natin na ang isa po ay magiging ano? Magiging 4 at ang isa ay magiging 1. So, magiging ganyan na po yun, guys. 4 y to the 4th times 2y. Kasi, when you are multiplying an exponent, you are adding, right? So, y to the 4th times 2, so I will give you y to the 5th. And then, x to the 4th. Okay, now, we know that the square root of 4 is equal to 2. Okay, so 2, y to the 4th over the index of this, which is 2, okay, times 
square root of 2y over x to the 4th. Ilalabas na natin ang x to the 4th kasi ano po yun eh, pwede po natin makukuha. So, magiging x to the 4th over 2. So, therefore, magiging ganyan na po yun. So, 2y squared over x squared square root of 2y. So, this is now our example number 2. So, let us proceed now to our example number 3, which is rationalizing the denominator. Okay, so example number 3. So, simplify 2 square root of 3. So, have you noticed, guys, that there is a radicand in our denominator? So, how are we going to simplify that? By using rationalizing the denominator. So what is a rationalizing the denominator? This is the process wherein you are going to multiply a numerator and a denominator by the denominator. Okay, so that is what we call rationalizing the denominator. Take note guys, that kapag ang denominator mo ay nakaradikan, yung meron po siyang square root, it is not a simplified form. So what are you going to do is you are going to simplify that using rationalizing the denominator. So let us proceed. So simplify 2 square root of 3. So you have to multiply both equations by square root of 3 and square root of 3. So we know guys that we cannot multiply a whole number and a radical. So if you're going to multiply 2 square root of 3, we'll give you 2 square root of 3 and square root of 3 times square root of 3 will give you square root of 9. So let us simplify. 2 square root of 3, same pa rin po. And then square root of 9 will give you 3. So therefore, the final answer is 2 square root of 3 over 3. So have you noticed na ang ating denominator ay hindi po nakaradikan? Okay. Pero kahit na may radikan ang numerator, nakasimplify pa rin po yun. So, yun po yun guys ang tinatawag natin na division of radicals. But how about if I'm going to give you example number 4 na ang kanyang denominator ay dalawa po. Okay, so like for example, I have here um, 2 or square root of 2y over square root of y plus 3. Okay, have you noticed na ito ay two terms dito po sa ating denominator and then ang gagawin po natin still rationalizing the, the denominator but it's a conjugate. So when we talk about conjugate, we are going to multiply both numerator and denominator by its conjugate. Ibig sabihin, ano po ang conjugate ng uh, denominator niya? So since this is positive, ang conjugate po niya ay negative. So, i-multiply po natin yan kasi alam ko kung bakit. Kasi ang isa ay hindi nakaradikal. So, magiging times square root of y minus 3, okay, over square root of y minus 3. So, let us proceed. First term and the two terms. So, we are imining parang nag-multiply ka distributive property, iniisa-isa mo. Okay, so when we talk about distributive, yun po yun. Square root of 2y and y, you can combine it because they have the same radicon. So square root of 2y times y will give you square root of 2y squared. Minus a whole number and a radicon cannot combine. So magiging 3 square root of 2y over. Ito guys, dalawa po yun eh. Parang gagamitin po natin ang sum and difference of 2 squared. Could you still remember the special products? When we talk about special products, pareho po ang first term at magkaiba, positive and negative. Okay, have you noticed na ito po yung positive dito, ito po ay negative, pero pareho lang po silang terms. So, ang gagawin lang po natin, we have to multiply the first and the last. Kasi, if we're going to use the FOIL method, Outer and inner, maka zero na po yon. Okay, so let us have our multiplication square root of y times square root of y will give you square root of y squared. Minus positive 3 times negative 3 
will give you negative 9. So, let us simplify. Okay, masisimplify po natin yun. Dahil ang y squared, 2 over 2 will give you, so parang ganito po yung pag-simplify mo eh. y squared over, ang index po niya ay 2, pero may iiwan po ang square root of 2 kasi we cannot get the square root of 2 which is a perfect. Minus 3, as is po ang 2y guys, 2y over y squared is y 2 over 2. So, wala na po siyang maiiwan, minus 9. So, therefore, the final answer is 2 over 2 is 1. So, magiging y square root of 2 minus 3 square root of 2y over y minus 9. Okay, this is now the final answer. So, this is the process. How are you going to divide uh, radicals, division of radicals with, uh, with, the, with the simple process, with uh, rationalizing the, the denominator by, an, it, by its conjugate. So, if you, if you want, guys, so, la, sa lahat ng mga estudyante na nahihirapan po sa algebra, so, I am here, Teacher SPTV is uh, willing to help you. So, if you have any difficulty in your subject, most especially modular po tayo, nahihirapan po kayo, so just make a comment below and then or send me on my FB page, Teacher SP. You can send me a message whatever topics that you are going to request, ire-record po natin yun. Okay, so thank you so much guys and uh, mega love shout out pala kay Tambayan ni Glenn Duz. So, for uh, na ano ko si nag-request pa ko sa kanyang kanta and tonight I will be having my live streaming at magpaparaffle po ako for the month of January sana yon kaya lang na schedule po natin and we have our guests so I am inviting all of you to uh, subscribe like at saka notify click the notification bell para po updated po kayo so see you at 7 p.m guys and have a great day everyone bye i love you all